Hawaiian poke is all the rave all over the country. And if you haven't tasted it, oh my God, you don't know what you're missing, but don't worry. Today, you're gonna learn how to make one at home because that's what we're cooking. And you are gonna love it. Poke, and by the way, it's not pronounced pokey, but poke. In Hawaiian, you pronounce the letters kind of like in Spanish, so to me, it's not that hard. So, poke literally means to cut up in chunks in Hawaiian. Therefore, poke is little chunks of marinated fish. In the Hawaiian islands, poke is something of a millennial tradition, right? But different fish were used and uh, no soy sauce were used and things like that. Until the late 1800s, when 200,000 immigrants from Japan came to work the sugar plantations, the poke that we know today started to come about. Soy sauce was introduced, in fact, shoya, which is a different kind of soy sauce, the one that they use in Japan than the one they use in China, right? So in Japan is half soybean, half wheat and also ahi tuna became the fish as well as octopus because of that huge uh, Japanese tradition of eating octopus as well. And also remember that poke can be a snack, an appetizer or a meal over white rice. You will see shoyu ahi tuna sometimes as a recipe and all that means is shoyu is Japanese soy sauce, which is half soybean and roughly half wheat, as opposed to Chinese soy sauce, which is mostly soybean. And if you think that poke is just like ceviche, well, it's not. There is no citrus in poke. Boy, I can't wait. Let's cook. As always, first, let's get organized. The French call this mise en place. And all mise en place is, is having all the ingredients and the tools that you need right in front of you. Cooking is always about ingredients, time, and temperature. And today, it's simple. Great ingredients and just assembly. And now we'll prep all the ingredients and put them in what we call the conga line, which is nothing but the order that they show up in the recipe. Mise en place is less stress. And now it's time for shout outs. These are the people that are cooking our food, taking pictures and letting us know about it. You should try it. Our friends Zach and Aubrey make the picanha with the chimichurri and they loved it. One of our YouTube followers, Mama Mua, made the chopino and she raves about it. Great job. And Joe Verna, also from YouTube, made the chopino as well. Chopino's been so popular. You should try that at home. Keep them coming. Okay, we're ready to go. See the conga line. Now the conga line here is very simple because there's literally no cooking here. This is just assembly. Now, I had the tuna cut into maybe half an inch squares, okay, or cubes actually, and then have it all the time in the fridge until you're almost ready to go. Now, all we're gonna do here is just put everything together, taste, 
for seasoning, especially for the salt or the soy sauce. And then we're gonna marinate this for at least 15 minutes. It could be up to an hour, sometimes even more, but somewhere between 15 minutes and an hour. Remember, this has no citrus, so the fish is really not gonna cook. We just wanna marinate all these flavors together, okay? So we're gonna start with the salt, and always, you know, you make sure you are comfortable with the amount of salt and the type of salt you're using, okay? I think this is, what we have here is enough for this one, but you know what? I'm gonna go easy on it. I'm gonna leave some behind because soy sauce is also salty, and I will adjust that later. Okay, so here's the soy sauce and the sesame oil. We got some sriracha for heat. And we may use more of that. This is a green Maui or sweet onions. And this is some green onions. Again, I'm leaving more for later. And sesame seeds. Start mixing. When you go to Hawaii, you go to supermarkets and they have counters. I'm talking about long counters of different kinds of poke. And some look, when you're not used to it, it looks weird because you're thinking ceviche, in my, at least it was my case. Man, this fish is like overcooked. A lot of them use mayo in the recipe. Oh, you can see how everything's coming together now, right? So I'm gonna add the rest. See, you wanna go easy sometimes on with recipes, and I'm thinking that the salt is okay, a little bit more, green onions as well. You notice that you only use the green part of the green onion. You can just save the white part, right, and just put it in the fridge and use it for something else. Now, so, I just wanna taste a little bit. I'm gonna take a small piece and adjust for seasoning. It's good, it doesn't need anything else. We're gonna marinate this in the fridge for at least 15 minutes. So here it is. This is just after 15 minutes, like I said. You can go up to an hour if you want. And what I'm doing, I have this chili oil here. I'm just gonna add a touch of that. Because I like spicy. And my tasting guest, Stunt Double today, loves spicy food. I mix that up. Like I said before, poke can be a snack, can be an appetizer, or it can be a meal. So we're turning this into a meal over white rice. <laughs> Get some of these green onions for garnish. And that's it. So today I am not doing it by myself. I'm gonna call our daughter Isabella, who is a poke fanatic for taste this. Come on, Isa. Hello. <laughs> this looks delicious. That's Isa. It looks good, right? It looks really good. So let's dig in. First bite. I told people that this is ahi tuna, which is like the most common thing right now. What is the traditional fish, the Hawaiian fish? What's the name of it? Humu humu nuku nuku apua. There you go. <laughs> so that is not used anymore. I poke. It's what's used. Let's see. Me? Let's go. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The taste starts building up, right? Mm-hmm. Let me down. Mmm. So yummy. So yummy. Mm -hmm. Even though it's raw, oh, the spice at the end mm -hmm. came out great. Even though, I mean, it's raw, right? Mm -hmm. But it feels, um, the texture changes so much after marinating. This is delicious. Mm. So, I need to finish well. All right, so we, it was hard for me to decide what to drink with this. Obviously okay. a beer would be great, but after I tasted it, and as you know, I love bubbly, champagne, prosecco, something with, uh, you know, with Asian flavors, especially with a little bit spicy. So that's what we're doing, prosecco. Let's give it another bite. Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a different yummy dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally different yummy dance. Mm -hmm. It's so, we're gonna, mm -hmm. cheers girl. Oh, cheers. Mm. 
Perfect. Delicious. This is so easy to make at home, and I can see why uh, people in Hawaii love this because we're in the middle of the of a heat wave here at the beach, and so it's just so refreshing. It's just great, right? So try it. Promise me, you're gonna try it. Four things: subscribe, hit like, share with your friends, and cook it. <laughs> there you go. You see, I didn't prep her, and she knows cook it. You can cook this at home because there's no cooking. It's so simple to make. It's really delicious. So after this, we're going back to my childhood with a sampling of hot dogs, New York style, Chicago style, and my hometown of Caracas, Venezuela. That's in South America. Mm. I cannot wait. Come back and see us.